So nobody ever wondered why the wind was always blowing around Gambit? It's because he carries the multiversal level drip. I know what you're saying. What is multiversal level drip? I heard of multiversal level characters, but what's multiversal level drip? Multiversal level drip is when a character has reached such a dripping point that no matter where they are, no matter who they're around, no matter what's in their presence, nothing is actually ever cooler than them. And in all of Marvel and DC, there is not one person who actually has this outside of Gambit. He is the drip king. He is the drip that overflows the cup. He is the cool before the cold hits the warm. He's unable to actually be frozen because there's always a little bit of drip. Are you picking up what I'm putting down, people? His drip has broken the fourth wall to where there's no collectibles cooler than his. He has taken over the game and apps by the power of his drip. He was the coolest character in Marvel vs. Capcom, and this guy was in it. And that dude was cool, but unfortunately, the King of Drip was there. Even the most iconic heroes is nothing compared to his drip. Even in the midst of defeat, he's still the coolest. Even the highest of beings don't understand how he got to this level. Was it the hair? Was it the brown trench coat? Is it the eyes? Is it the brown mixed with the purple? How did he reach this level? And the icing on the cake is, he got rolled. I do not care what a single person says. The 90s Rogue was the one. There was none better than the 90s Rogue. The hair, the accent, the look, the outfit, the attitude, the powers. And this dude sealed the deal. So in conclusion, if anybody ever brings up a cool character, just remind them that there's only one multiversal level brother who has all the drip. And that's game. Peace out, fams.